we all set? Do we have to? This is such a lovely job when there's no kids about. Who do you think you are? Your worst nightmare, son. Hand it over! <laughs> What's your name? Bolton Smiley. You want to have a bit of a clear out, Bolton? You're carrying too much junk, lad. Anyone got a problem with bag searches? Find another school. I'll have to give you a shout if I get any tricky pastoral care issues. Any time. What? Right, who's next? You created top sets in the GCSE groups. I've done all the allocating with the department heads. But you said it would be all mixed ability at Waterloo Road. We need to cater for the new intake. Well, half of this new lot aren't even in our catchment area. They picked up on the bus. What, from a murdered teacher? Some bright kids here. Not one of these new year tens got below a level seven on the SATs. If we stick to mixed ability classes, these will raise the bar for all the kids. Yeah, but we don't want it lowering for them. I'm talking about setting for a year, right? Just to kickstart results. Pure learning, no distractions. We can get this lot through their core subject GCSEs in a year. Our A to C grades will rock it. That's good publicity. Feel good factor in the school. It sets a goal to the other kids. That's what I want. Show them that nothing is impossible. The pyramids at Giza. The UN building in New York. The Mona Lisa. Daisies. Mondrian's New York. The Parthenon in Athens. And pineapples. Why am I showing them to you? Is it because you're mad, sir? <laughs> Close, Damon. But is it because we're taking on holidays? You pillock. Big hey, listen, head, I don't mind what you come up with, as long as you come up with something, all right? All the things I've just shown you are about numbers. Sir, but it's a pineapple. Just, you see, that's why it's so flipping interesting. Look. There's a system in the pineapples. Are you taking a piss? Shut up. Phi, sometimes known as the golden ratio. It's a number you'll find in all those things I've just shown you, going right back to the construction of the Great Pyramids, which, incidentally, have a base-to-height ratio of 1.6. Now, I know what you're thinking. Who's this bloke? We're the bottom set. All we do is add in and take in away. <laughs> well, not anymore. This is where it all starts. Because everything you see around you, and I mean everything, if you look hard enough, You'll find maths in it. Right, remember, homework to work out that sequence of numbers. There's a code in there somewhere, and your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to break that code. Are you a SWAT or something? Hey, it's called enthusiasm, Damon. And you'll make a friend in me for life if you show a bit. Off you go. Here, let's see your scribbles. Come on. You didn't say a word all class. I just want to see what, if anything, you were listening to. That boy, Damon, he told me to shut up. Do you know what this is? Fibonacci sequence. Each number is the sum of the numbers before it. And how does that relate to what we were doing in class? Because as the sequence gets bigger, when you divide each number by the previous one, you get the golden ratio, 1.61. I don't want you in my class anymore. Have I done something wrong? Opposite. There's no way you're bottom set. What class you got next? English with Miss Koreshi. Do you like English? I like books and plays. Yeah? What's your favourite? I like Herman Melville, Moby Dick. Whales are my favourite mammal. And Bram Stoker and Jane Austen. And I've read all of William Shakespeare, but I don't like all of those. Maybe we should have a word with Mr Rimmer. Just one? 